people you're welcome back to critics news <laughs> on another edition on i already know how we think they do them so as we take see the matter so now so we think they talk them. so let's quickly check out the reasons why we are here <laughs> for those of you people who are in the southeast <laughs> who are still in biafra land and we are urging you to be very very careful because the army has arrived to you know kill to destroy and to kidnap okay that is what is going on there so i i would like somebody who is on ground there to if you can contact us and be letting me know what is going on in biafra land often and on it will be a nice one so if you want to reach out to me um you can do that through my facebook or instagram at critics news just check me out or the description below on the um description i will put the link there you will see how to reach me it is very very easy if you follow me on my media handles so quickly um there are some things i would like us to discuss you see these people here very tall you would think that um when people are tall like this oh they have arrived and they they, <laughs> they know what they are doing so people are confused but even with their tallness you can see there are many they say a joint national congress thinks kicks against secession plans <laughs> Do you see that? I hope you can see the 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 headline there. That is our people. Then nam the canon awono. These are our people that must nam the canon. Ah, saving. See what they are. They are that they are yanning. And another problem has come up: insecurity army to transfer personnel from schools to front line. And this one also we vindicate the leader of IPOB must nam the canon because. He said it that Nigerian army does not have the um, personnel to face um, the people in case anything wants to happen, in case uh, <laughs> we say we want to face them sequently. He said that Nigerian army does not have the personnel to face us. But we thought, oh, forget that man, he can talk too much, he's uh, joking. Now, is it not truth? Is it not happening? Look at it here. Nigerian army to pull personnel from schools to front line due to lack of uh, manpower. Now, let's see what happened. Boko Haram has grinded most of them. And also, the ones that went to the southeast to dare God, because that is what they are doing, I'll put it that way, to dare God. God has taken them to even to hellfire now, because God is no longer interested in the judgment. He's tired because... After several judgment, he saw that these people when we see, he sent them to hellfire. So that is where they are going now. No more uh, heaven again. They say insecurity army to transfer personnel from schools to front line. Let's see what happened here and why they want to transfer the ones who wants to study you. <laughs> so the, all the army now will become illiterate. That is why you see most of them shooting anyhow. Because they never went to school. The ones that are in school now, nah, oh yeah, 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 get away from the school. Come here, come here and shoot enemy. <laughs> because the, the country is collapsed. The country has collapsed. The Nigerian army has withdrawn its personnel studying in various schools. The cable can report. The development follows a new directive by Ibrahim Atahiru, the chief of army staff. Soldiers and officers of the Nigerian army who wish to further their study are usually allowed to do so. But the new directive comes as military needs more personnel in tackling Nigeria's growing insecurity, particularly um, insurgency and banditry. And why are they pulling them? Because they sent men to the southeast. If it was in the past when they were just romancing with Boko Haram and bandits in the north, this thing wouldn't have happened, but it don't shell it for Southeast now. Now they want to withdraw troops from schools and send most of them to the Southeastern part of the country where they will not make it alive. <laughs> it surprises you that I say so. Watch out and see what God is going to do with their heads there. A senior officer who informed the cable of the development on Saturday said, the army currently lacks adequate manpower i told you before adequate manpower especially in the fight against boko haram so the chief of staff directed that the that we bring all of the personnel back to their units first 
bring, they did not say that they should leave some. They did not say that they should leave the ones who are doing well in school. They say all, oh, let me repeat, sorry. The army currently lacks adequate manpower, especially in the fight against Boko Haram. So the chief of army staff directed that we bring all of the person of all of the personnel back to their units first and then they are subsequently deployed to the front line we are they creating the front lines now you can check it out on the on the uh, um, in the southeast in biafra land that is where they are creating the front lines now the boko haram now is moving freely without any interruptions okay God will show them. Mohammed Yerima, Amic spokesperson, also confirmed the development to the cable, saying that the security agency can withdraw its personnel from school at any time, especially during a war. Do you do you now see it? When I say these things, you see people commenting rubbish, oh lies, fake news, this and that. All these things are things that are going to happen. Are we not at war? This thing only happens when there is war in the country. But as I speak to you now, this is what is going on. This is they have withdrawn people from school because they are fighting war in the southeast. They are killing people there, so they need more manpower to go and destroy their friends there. But they will fail by the grace of God, by the grace of Almighty. They will perish. He, however, said the directive does not affect personnel who are already in their final year study. Okay, only those ones who are in the final year. Going to the study is a privilege. When you come to the army, we take you to your point of qualification to allow you to go to school. It's just to give you welfare, to go and have additional knowledge, he said. When there is war, we will withdraw anybody from anywhere. But this time, the chief of army staff was... Mag magnanimous enough to allow those in the final year to stay <laughs> where are we getting to we are almost there now if there is confrontation in the southeast then it's a boom that is what we will get if there is a serious conf uh, confrontation in biafra land then there, there will be a serious problem because they have withdrawn or they, they now have their last men Except the people in final year. How about that? Now, okay. Oh. Mazen Namdekano has been vindicated here. Okay. When there is war, who is thinking of school? This is what the army uh, spokesperson is, talk, is saying, asking. That is the position. For over a decade, the army has continued to fight Boko Haram insurgents in the north, in the northeast. Why many soldiers are also involved in about 15 military operations across the country. It also en ensures that soldiers and officers attend routine courses at the Armed Forces Command and Staff College in Kaduna. This is what is happening, and this thing is happening because there is serious tension in Imo State, in River State, in Abia State, in Anambra, in Ebony, in Enugu. These are the major places where there is high tension where and these are the places that army wants to go on a drill okay so i'm praying for our people for safety god will help us and will defeat every enemy coming to invade us or coming to you know reap where they did not so they will not make it out of that place by the grace of god don't go to southeast as an army officer Make peace with God first, or how will I put it? Okay. Go with your Satan share will be waiting for you at the doorstep. A John National Congress kicks against secession plans by Onifien Owe. Oni Sofien Owe. Okay? So these people who are <laughs> they think they can come and speak for everybody. But conduct a simple referendum. You see them growing tall like a Iroko tree without common reasoning that is you see them here see them you they you just you see people very tall you think ah i've seen them for nothing nothing there inside the upstairs only coconut water nine day there they are not thinking is your land who go knee 
all these places, you query all these places be like uh, gutter. What is the government doing to develop where the whole oil, almost all the oil functioning the country is coming from? Nothing. That place is like dustbin. And you have dogs backing as governors. Mrs. Uh, Tambuwale. Oi, I'm not a woman. I'm not a woman. Yeah, he's running. He will later run to Fulani and become a Fulani man. Yara. President of Ejo National Congress, INC, Professor Benjamin Okaba, has told secessionists that no part of Ejo will be co-opted. <laughs> At the official inauguration of the new executive of the INC, which is Ejo National Council in Yenegua, Governor Douyediri and other notable Ejo leaders again reiterated calls for true federalism and restructuring of the Nigerian state for how many years now that this country has been like this since we have been hearing restructure restructure it, it, it never happened and it can never happen with the kind of malama and abuki that have no sense in power are you, are you telling me that we are going to restore it's not going to be possible but these people who you think that they are tall cannot reason maybe <laughs> uh, Calls for a true federalism system of government and restructuring of the country has consistently been on the top list of demands whenever leaders of AJOS meet. They have been meeting for years. They have been meeting over the years without fruitfulness, with, with empty, empty talkings, empty, empty, I don't even discussion, empty meetings. Nothing to write home about it. Bayasa State Governor Doye Diri um, uh, Delta State Deputy Governor Kinsili Otuaro observed as the new con uh, executive members of the INC were administered uh, their oaths of office. The joint leaders again made some sa uh, salient demand re uh, regarding some key national issues, just as the interim coordinator of the presidential amnesty program, re retired Colonel Milandi DQ, harped on the need for continuous synergy. For now, the expectations of the judges are high on the Ejo National Council executives to advance the cause of its founding fathers. Editor Paul Akabame, Akabame, I don't, there's a name there, Paul Akabame. You see the problem that we have? These people, these people that you are looking at here, see them properly, you will see that, oh, <laughs> As they are thought, so, so is their brain. No way. There is nothing upstairs. To, there is nothing to write home about. Um, you, all these people are just talking, 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 talking. No action. Your place is like hellfire. You are, no, you are, you are not bothered. All you want is uh, uh, politics. As far as it's benefiting you, you don't care. Now, let me check out. Uh, I'm trying to see if I will get a video we are uh, governor obaseki was uh, you know saying that uh, <laughs> this co uh, country we know for okay um if i don't get that i'm gonna show you the video we are okay we are obaseki was saying that oh this country <laughs> they must repair it too. they must be in one nigeria that nigeria can offer so they will continue to loot now let's take a look at this video Ramadan fasting period is being marked around the world, and Nigeria is no exception. In every state, adherents to the faith are here converged. On the central mosque in Abakaliki for prayers, the significance is captured in this submission. I will use this as a, 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 an advice for all of us in Nigeria to stay in peace. Love your neighbor as a love yourself. Let us stay in peace. Without peace, there will be no development. Without peace, there will be no stability. Muslim faithful in Nabokuta, Ogun State, also joined others at Lanturo Central Prayer Ground. And a representative of the state governor is on hand to deliver a timely message. Ramadan is like a for a training. After we have gone for a training for one month, when you come back, we expect the product of that training to be reflected in your conduct, in your attitude, and what you do. River State Governor Yesenwike, in a goodwill salah message, felicitated with Muslims in the state 
calling on all Nigerians to draw lessons of piety, justice, fairness, equity, tolerance and peaceful coexistence all through the Ramadan period. Gaily attired Muslim faithful in a number of states also attend the prayer. According to the leader of the Hausa community in Oka, peace is a paramount request in their prayers for the country. We pray for the nation, we pray for Anambra State, and we pray for the governor of Anambra State. And the prayer will continue, inshallah, when we see, until we see the end of the insecurity in Nigeria. And celebrations are held in Cross River State. The state government point out the need to be mindful of COVID-19 protocols. We were using this occasion to advocate to them on the need to protect themselves and their loved ones against COVID-19. Cross River State is known for peace. It's known for tranquility. It's known for togetherness. And this is the tourism hub of not only Nigeria but West Africa sub-region. The government house in Benin City, the Edo State capital, is the location where the governor, on the occasion of the Idel al Fitri celebrations, felicitates with Muslim leaders and uses the opportunity to comment on national unity. I'm using this opportunity to call on all of you, particularly Muslims, to rise and speak up with a positive voice. Nigeria will not fail. Nigeria will not disappear. Nigeria will not disintegrate. The federal government had called for a two-day holiday for the Idel Fitri celebrations. All right, guys, I, I believe you saw, <laughs> you saw these people. These are the people, you know, the, saying that Nigeria shouldn't divide, that we should remain like this. The way we are suffering now, it is good for them. You always see these northern people clamoring. Oh, this unity, we are one people, we are good people, we are lovers, so we are this and that. Too. But there is no love in all these things. There is no love in the heart of any of these people you see here, they are just managing. They are just deceiving the gullible ones, are huh? deceiving themselves too. Let me know your own opinion. Nigeria needs to divide for us to have peace. Let us know who is who. Not uh, somebody will carry animals and even join them to become animal and come and kill you in your own land in the name of one Nigeria. Enough of that nonsense. I'll see you guys on the next update. Don't forget to drop your comments below and um, your own opinion matters to us. From there, we know what you think about these happenings. Follow me on the social media handles, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, or check the description below. Ciao.